Hey everyone, Jolt here. Excolitor Obsidian 1.9.20 comes with a bunch of new features. Let me show you. First of all, this is not yet a new feature. If you click here on the Obsidian Tools panel and click on the release notes, you can always read what's new in a release. So what's new this time? First of all, Mermaid. So if here I click on the more tools menu and click on mermaid to Excolid draw, then this dialog appears and here I can type in a mermaid diagram. And then when I click insert, then the Excolid draw elements of that mermaid diagram is inserted. One important caveat, mermaid to Excolid draw only works with the latest Obsidian release. This also means that if you're using Obsidian on an iPad or an Android device, then unless you're an insider and you have access to the insider mobile build and you're using it, you will need to wait a couple of weeks before Mermaid to Excolidraw will work on your mobile device. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mermaid format, you can click here on the flowcharts link and you're taken to the mermaid documentation where you can read about it. But I actually recommend clicking here on live editor. I can always work much better from examples. And it's important to note that currently the mermaid to Excolid draw conversion only works for the flowchart type diagrams. But here you can also look at other type of diagrams. So for example, if I'm working on a project, and I want to insert a Gantt diagram, then I can copy this Gantt diagram sample from here. I can come back to Obsidian. I can paste my Gantt diagram here. I can modify this diagram whichever way I want. And then I can click insert and this Gantt chart is inserted onto my Excolid or canvas. Now, if I want to modify this Gantt chart, I can always control click on it and then the dialog opens again. I can do my modifications and then I insert again. In this case, I will need to delete my previous diagram. If you want to contribute to converting other type of diagrams into Excolidraw shapes like the flowchart, then please in the release notes, check here there's a link to the Mermaid 2 Excolidraw project and contributions are welcome. So the other key changes that I want to show you are A, that you can now disable snap to grid in grid mode. And I think even more interesting is the elements alignment snapping. So let me show you how this works. So if I draw this rectangle, for example, and I start to move it around, of course, I can move it anywhere on the screen. Now, if while moving, I hold down the control key, you can see that these red guidelines appear. And for example, here, I'm aligning this with the bottom of go shopping and with the right hand side of car. And then if I again move it, then I can align it with the center or I can snap it to the corner and I can do lots of very cool snapping actions. This helps keep your drawings super neat. Now, if I turn on the grid and zoom in a little, then I can also show you that if I move an item around on the grid, then it always snaps to the grid. But if I hold down the control button, then I can move it smoothly on the grid. This is super useful when I'm drawing a line. So for example, here, I'm going to start to draw this line and you can see that now the line is snapping to the grid points. But this point, I want to place somewhere outside the grid. So I hold down the control button and I can place this point wherever I want and this point as well and this one as well outside the grid. And then again, I can follow the grid like this. So holding down the control button when the grid is active is going to disable snapping to the grid and holding down the control button when the grid is not active is going to activate the snap to object functionality. Super cool. 
And the last piece of new functionality I want to show you is something you need to download from the Excolidraw scripts library. And this was contributed by someone from the community. Here, if I click on the scripts library, I will need to type in Boolean operations. And this is the script that I'm going to install. As you can see already on the screen, this is super promising. Let me show you how this works. So I'm going to now create two objects here. I'm going to create this circle and I'm going to create this rectangle and I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to open my tools panel here. If I scroll down, this is the Boolean operations script icon. When I click the script icon, I can choose from various operations. I can add, subtract, etc. So this time I'm going to add, this is the union of these two objects and voila, you can see that the two objects were combined. I can also just show you another operation. For example, now I'm going to subtract the second object from the first object and you can see voila again a cool object was created by the way the function also works with lines so here i'm going to draw this line now you need to keep this will only work with lines with sharp edges it will not work with lines with round edges but if i select these two objects and click the function i can again subtract a from b and you can see that i've cut my circle into these pieces now i want to show you one practical feature that's not new but that is something that you might want to use because i have multiple scripts that do some shape magic and i might want to organize them into a group so you can see here in my tools panel i have my color tools, my pen tools, my text actions in separate groups. And I don't have a group for the shape tools. And I would actually want to put there a couple of items, the Boolean operations. I would want to put there the repeat element script as well as the uh, split ellipse script. So how do I do that? Here in the Obsidian File Explorer, I come to my Xcolidraw scripts downloaded folder. And if I create a subfolder under downloaded, so I'm going to create a new folder here, and this is going to be shape magic. That's going to be the name of my new folder. And then I select the elements I want to move there. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option on a Mac button and I'm going to select Boolean operations and the SVG icon. You always need to select these in pairs, the script and the SVG icon. I'm going to select also the split ellipse and I'm going to also select repeat elements. So I selected three scripts and I'm going to bring this here so you can see the magic as it happens so when i move these items into shape magic then suddenly the shape magic action appears on my tools panel with these three items in it and finally let me show you just how cool scripts are for example repeat elements this was also contributed by the community let me draw you a simple example so I have this rectangle here. I'm going to create a copy of this rectangle, make it just a little smaller. I'm going to turn it just a little. I'm now going to organize this such that it's centered horizontally and vertically. So it's on top of one another. And I'm going to make the top element just one step darker. So I'm using the darkened background color script. So this is now just a little darker. I'm going to select these two elements and I'm going to click the repeat element script and I'm going to type in, let's repeat this pattern 15 times. And voila, the script repeated the actions. 
the rectangles are getting darker and they are turning and getting smaller. So what the repeat element script does is it repeats the transformation between two items. Transformation can be movement, can be color, can be rotation, and it creates beautiful works. You can create color gradients this way. You can create even art, if you will. So that's all the cool features I wanted to show you this time. And again, remember here on the release notes, you can also see the other items, what has been fixed. There were some other nice new features with the fourth font, which now accepts OTF fonts as well, and some other features as well. So I recommend always reviewing the release notes and enjoy Excolidraw. Enjoy drawing, enjoy visual PKM. Thank you.